This video is about review for exponential and logarithm functions. For number two, if log base 2 of p equals x, log base 2 of q equals y, and uh, log base 2 of r equals z, write in terms of x, y, z. Basically, this is uh, expanding the log. If we have a log base b, a to the m's power times c to the n's power over d to the p's power times f to the q's power. How to expand this log? m log base b of a plus n times log base b of c that minus p times log base b of d minus q log base b of f. So first of all, for number one, we need to change every factor into exponential form. That is log base two of p to the one half power r to the 3 over 4th power, q to the 3rd power, equals 1 over 2 log base 2 of p plus 3 over 4 log base 2 of r. Division minus 3 log base 2 of q. Then we plug in 1 half times x plus 3 over 4 times z minus 3 times y. For number 2, log base 2 of cubic root of q over p squared times square root of r. First step, change every single factor into exponential form q to the 1 over 3rd power, p squared times r to the 1 half power. Above division line will be a positive. So log base 2 of q, we will put the 1 over 3 to the front, then minus 2 times log base 2 of p minus 1 over 2 log base 2 of r. Then we plug in 1 over 3 y minus 2 times x minus 1 half times z. For number 3, solve the following equations. Number 1, e to the x minus 5 power plus 3 equals e to the x plus 5 power. Write your answer with a natural log of a, a greater than zero form. We know this is a not a quadratic pattern equation because we cannot create e to the x power square. So you need to isolate e to the x power on one side. e to the x minus a 5th power, which means e to the x power times e to the negative 5th power, plus 3 equals e to the x power times e to the 5th power. So we will isolate the e to the x power on one side, cross the river change sign, 3 equals e to the x power times e to the 5th power plus minus e to the x power times e to the negative fifth power. Then we will take e to the x power out because e to the x power is common factor e to the fifth power minus e to the negative fifth power. This is three. Then both sides divided by e to the fifth power minus e to the negative fifth power. Then e to the x power equals 
3 e to the fifth power minus 1 over e to the fifth power. This is a complex uh, fraction. We multiply by e to the fifth power for every single term. So we multiply by e to the fifth power top and bottom. We will get 3 e to the fifth power over e to the tenth power minus 1 equals e to the x power. Then we will take a natural log both sides. x equals natural log 3 e to the fifth power over e to the tenth power minus 1. So the final answer will be x equals natural log 3 e to the fifth power e to the tenth power minus 1. Let's go to number 2. 1 half equals log base 16 of a cubic root of 100 minus x squared. First step, we will add 16 base both sides. 16 to the 1 half power is 4 equals cubic root of 100 minus x squared. Then both sides do the cubic power. 64 equals 100 minus x squared. Isolate the x squared on one side. We will get x squared equals 100 minus 64. That equals 36. x squared equals 36. Then we take a square root of both sides. x equals plus or minus 6. Then check the answer. Look at the argument. Cubic root of 100 minus x squared. We plug in positive 6 and a negative 6. It's a positive or positive. So x equals plus or minus 6 will be the solution to number 2. Let's go to number three. This is the absolute value equation. We know absolute value of uh, x equals uh, a, then x equals plus or minus a, a greater than zero. Therefore, we can change uh, this equation into two equations. Natural log of uh, x plus three equals one or natural log of x plus 3 equals negative 1. We will add uh, base e both sides, x plus 3 equals e. Cross the river change sign, x equals e minus 3. For this one, add base e both sides, x plus 3 equals 1 over e. So x equals 1 over e minus 3. Let's check for the argument x plus 3. e minus 3 is a positive. 1 over e minus 3 is a positive 2. We have uh, two solutions. x1 equals e minus 3 and uh, x2 equals 1 over e minus 3. For number 4, 9 times log base 5 of x equals 25 log base x of 5. We know log base b of a equals 1 over log base a of b. Therefore, 
for nine times log base of five of x equals 25 times one over log base of five of x. Then both sides multiply by log base of five of x. Left side, we will get nine times log base of five of x squared equals reduce 25. This is a power equation divided by 9 both sides. So log base 5 of x squared equals 25 over 9. Then do square root both sides. Log base 5 of x equals plus or minus 5 over 3. Log base of 5 of x equals positive 5 over 3. Or log base of 5 of x equals negative 5 over 3. So x equals 5 to the 5 over 3rd power. Or x equals 5 to the negative 5 over 3rd power. This is the final answer because we need the solution in the form of 5 to the p over q's power.